from a distance the world looks blue and green and the snow cap mountains white from a distance the ocean meets the stream and the eagle takes to flight For a flight, are you ready for a flight? You are swearing high this year on eagle's wings in the name of Jesus. Today is renewal of strength. Renewal of strength. We have seen the eagle at the beginning, we saw the eye of the eagle last Sunday. Today, we are seeing renewal of strength. Amen. Are you still excited? Isaiah 40, verse 31. Isaiah 40, verse 31. For they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and faint not. Amen. They shall walk and faint not. In the name of Jesus, you will not faint in your Christian walk. You will run, you shall not be weary. You will run this race, you will not be weary. In the mighty name of Jesus. Eagles are born the same. The lower eagles, the higher eagles, they are born as eaglets. They are born, they are all born as eaglets. The two categories come into the picture because one class decides to remain low. So no eagle was created as a low flying eagle. Their classes come into place by personal decision. Some eagles just decide to remain low flyers. While the others, the second, the, the second class goes up with the mothers. They are all exposed to the same training. And one will just decide that, look, this training is too hard. I don't want this training and becomes the lower eagle. The mother, the mother eagle trains the eaglets to fly high. What the mother eagle does, when it's time for the eaglet to come out of the nest to begin to fly, is to first and foremost break the nest of the eaglets. The nest is built in the rock. It's built like a, like a story building. The parents are on top. The eaglet is down. So the mother eagle goes there, breaks with a very strong brick and beak, breaks the nest of the eagle and brings the eaglet out. So what she first does to the eaglet is to put the eaglet on her wings, spread wide out and begin to fly slowly. And the eaglet is busy enjoying the flight. But suddenly, the mother, the mother increases the, the height, goes up very fast, and drops the eaglet. And the eaglet will be complaining, oh, mama, 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 doesn't want to go. But just before the eaglet hits the rock, the mother picks it up again. And she does it so many times. It's part of the dream. Every eaglet is taught how to fly like this. Then when it comes to feeding, suddenly, the mother will stop bringing food. We now begin to teach the eaglet how to go and hunt for its own food. Before the mother will be tearing the meat for the eaglet. But suddenly, she begins to teach the eaglet how to tear the meat itself. The eagle does not feed on dead, dead meat. It is lower eagles who feed on dead meat. Higher eagles don't feed on dead meat. I know dead meat is always very hard and very tough. So the eaglet has to be trained how to hunt for his own prey and how to tear his own meat and feed himself. I'm going somewhere. Two things now. So what makes the lower eagle, the lower eagle, he refuses, it refuses all this training. So instead of going to very high heights, say, no, that is too high. There are many dangerous birds there who are harassing me. It's better for me to remain here. The lower eagle is carrying the anointing of Lot. Small mindedness. That, oh, if I go up there, there are many animals, other birds who are bigger, 
who are bigger. So if I go there, they'll be harassing me. The lower ego does not want to face challenges. Anybody who doesn't want to face challenges is a low flyer. Those who fly high, they face challenges and overcome challenges. And that's why a high eagle flies at the speed of 135 miles per hour. That way the eagle can cruise across continents without feeling it. And that scripture says, they will run and they will not be weary. Because it's a high flyer. It has, it has learned to fly, to soar very well. It cruises, it's, it's like a cruise for him. He cruises at 135 miles per hour. He does this easily. But the lower eagle feels, ah, it's okay here, Jeremy, they work me. What's that? They work for me, Christians. I can't kill myself. And I've told you many times, devil is looking for those who cannot kill themselves so that he can kill them. When he meets those who can kill themselves, ah, he flees. So off. Off he goes. He flees. So this lower eagle too, what he says, ah, the, the, the fresh meat is too tough. This fresh meat is too tough. Whenever I see rotten dead meat, no rotten meat is very, it tastes easily when it is rotten. So the lower eagles are the ones who feed on dead meat. Because it is soft. It doesn't take much energy to tear and, and they begin to feed themselves. Then what begins to happen with these two things? This is when the eagle, the eaglet begins to shrink in size. And the difference begins to manifest. That this one is a lower eagle, this one is a higher eagle. So the eaglets, the eagle is a big being, is not having the eight feet span of wings. It reduces it to fall. It changes in size. And this is what makes it the lower eagle. So it's not a high flyer. It doesn't get to the mountains. It can mix with all kinds of other birds. It is all right because that's what it wants. No, I fly as don't mix with everybody. Those who don't want people to talk about them, they remain low flyers. Not everybody will like you. Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. God said love. Love and like are not the same. They are two different things. Two different things. So this ego remains low because he, has, he chose to be low. But there's something God has given the eagle. The eagle has a great ability for self-awareness. He's one of the, I think he's the only one among the animals who is so conscious of himself. That God has given that gift, grace, and ability to be so aware of himself. This, it is now this low-flying eagle who comes to himself one day and feels, no, I am not operating to maximum capacity and potential. I think I need a change. Whenever you know, there are times Christians we need to go on a retreat. We need a renewal of strength. So this same low flying ego can decide one day that enough is enough. How can I be playing with chicken? Myself and Canary, we are not the same. Myself and Sparrow, we are not the same. Myself and this other little body here, we are not the same. How have I found myself here? Whenever you find yourself operating at such a very low capacity, you need renewal of strength like the ego. Said those who wait upon the Lord. Those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. What will this lone flying ego do when he finds himself in this position? What he go, does is to go and wait. To go and renew his strength. So what does he do? The first thing that comes to like I said, is that he's not aware. Though I'm not at the level where I should be. The higher eagle flies at 40,000 feet above sea level. The lower eagle goes at 5,000 feet. Can you see the difference? So once we take the higher eagle one month, takes the lower eagle three years. Is it the same? I see your level changing. I see you flying higher. Nothing will show you the hands on. In the mighty name of Jesus, you can see they are not the same. If years ago you could pray for one hour, now prayer has become a chore for you. It has become work. You don't longer enjoy prayer. As a child of God, a high flying eagle, you can pray and you say, pray, pray with us. Even in the, in, 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 the, in the convenience, you are there praying. In the little room, you are there praying. Anywhere you are praying. But suddenly, prayer has become serious hard work. 
To pray becomes a problem. To study the word of God is now a problem. You, you find it easier, more comfortable to read soft cell magazine. When certain things begin to happen to you, if I know what's happening, you find that your business is going down. Your wisdom is, increasing, is decreasing. So this is what is happening to this low flying ego. And he comes and says, look, I need renewal of strength. I need, I need to begin to operate at full capacity. So he goes on the retreat. What will this ego, ego do? The ego will now go run back. Run back to where he left mama and papa. You see why the eaglet is leaving the, the nest? The parents tells it. Anytime you need help, come back here. That's something God, God is saying to you. You locate the rock that is higher than you. When you need help. So he, the, eagle, the eagle goes on the retreat. He goes back to the mountain. Because he cannot fly very high. It has lost the potential to soar. He goes slowly. He locates the mountain where the father and the mother were. And go back to that mountain. He flies slowly and slowly until he gets to that mountain. When he gets to that mountain, the first thing he does is to go to a quiet place, a corner, and begin to pluck out his own feathers by himself. He keeps plucking. He has at least 1,200 strong feathers. The eagle. And he begins to pluck them off one by one. While he's plucking them off, he begins to bleed. And he plucks out every single feather. What is the eagle doing? Like a good Christian, he's going naked before his maker. Some of us, I see your stress. We are still, we are still posing for God. They say pray, you are not praying. If you have financial problem, please say no. I don't think it's really bad. It's just economy so far in the name of Jesus. I'm gonna gonna do this. I'm gonna pray Americana prayer. So I'm going to shout G naked. She naked, I come church. I walk out, I walk out from Baghdad to this place because I don't get money. It is prayer. It will strip itself. There will be no feathers left. And then you find blood just gushing out. The eagle will go there, strip itself of all the peacock feathers it has developed. Pride. Strip itself of pride. Of arrogance. Of filthiness. Of all the dirty things that has come into those feathers because of his low flying. When Christians backslide, when they're no longer flying high, they begin to commit all kinds of sins. It is so easy for you to commit sin without blinking an eye. When you are really in the spirit, when you commit a sin, when you fall, I would say fall into a sin, you, your conscience will let you sleep. But when you begin to commit sin without blinking an eye, you can tell a lie you feel comfortable. Second step, he looks for a stream. You know, most of these high mountains, everyone has a stream flowing by. He looks for a stream and begins to wash himself. He'll be washing himself, all the blood. Begin to wash himself. Begin to wash himself. You know, another thing about the lower eagle is this. The beak of the eagle is so sharp. That's why he tears raw fresh meat. The, eagle, the eye flying eagle eats fresh meat every day. That's what God expects from you. To eat from the word of God fresh every day. Feeding yourself fresh. And that's where power and strength come from. If you want to enjoy breakthrough. Make sure you feed on this word, strong meat of the word, daily. Not to make level. I know your worst enemy look in the mirror. The person you see there is your worst enemy. So this eagle is so smart. He knew that this one is the first enemy. So he looked at himself and went on that retreat. The eagle stays on this mountain, stays on this retreat for at least 35 days. How many of us have fasted 35 days at a stretch? 